For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today I'm going over the best values for training because training has been such a massive part of this year's Madden and it got me thinking because I was going through my team and I was, I'm out of training actually, so I was going through and I went to go get, I got this Odell, I, I had him already powered up, I just had to go add some chems to him and then I was getting the Vernon and I was sitting there like, I need some training and I went through and I was like, what's the best training value and I haven't looked at that in quite a while, so you know, it got me thinking. A lot of you guys are probably just as confused because I know you guys play the game all day or even look at the stuff all day. You just buy, you know, without thinking. So, and if you if you buy without thinking, you could buy a bunch of nineties for like forty five k for two thousand training, thinking to steal. But at the end of the day, you're getting half of what you should have got. So I'm just gonna go through this for you guys. So you guys have a pretty good, accurate idea of what the best training values are. So I'm gonna do them in tiers. So there's gonna be the best, most efficient value will cost a lot that people might not be able to afford. So you know, I gotta give them a lower tier because that might be what that's the best efficiency for what they can afford. If you get what I'm saying. So let me go over to that now. Okay, so the best package, per se, of efficiency is technically these 98s. If you can get them for below, or if you can get them for about 440 to 450k, whichever one, Edelman, Sean Taylor, Sean Taylor Calvin, Gurley, whatever, most likely it's going to be Calvin or Sean Taylor. These are the most efficient ones, sort of. So let me explain that. So these will cost actually slightly more coins for training than other cards. But let me give you a scenario in which this is more efficient. So let's say someone has 500k, right? Now, the most efficient ones are the 97s. But the issue is that you can only buy 197, then you have 100k left over. And getting a player for under 100k isn't going to be efficient. You're going to be losing a lot of training. You're going to be leaving a lot of training on the table. So you're going to need a little more. So in this sense, spending the extra 100k here gets you pretty much the same thing. If you get what I'm saying. So 300k for 96 overall, and then 100k for like 290 overalls. Won't get you as much training as just 198 overall for the same price. Now, if you have the coins, so this is for people who just have under around 500k. Now, if you have the coins, and you're just looking for literally the best training, give a few mil, you don't care. The best best training would be right here. It's gonna be these Ultimate Legends 97s. You're gonna want these for about 285 to 295, anywhere between there. These are about 11 point like 85 coins for training right now. These are the best values per piece. Now, the only issue, like I said, is that if you need, let's say, these sell for 26,000 training. So you need 32,000, you need 35,000 training, right? So to get 35,000 training, you're going to have to buy one of these. And let's say you only had 400K, you're going to have 100K left. You don't, 100K isn't enough to get you the other 10,000 training. But if you buy the 98s directly, it is. It is perfectly the right amount. So I usually recommend sticking to these for your training needs. But if you just need 26,000 real fast and that's and that makes more sense and you need it there and you only need to do one increment or you need, or you have enough for two of these, if you have more than enough for one of these, no issue, go with these. But sometimes also, if you only need a few more thousand training and you spend this, it's going to be 600K in comparison to 450. So you could have saved 150 and then you have a bunch of leftover training, which I don't mind because I like sometimes having leftover training. But that's just my personal opinion. Now, if you head down, these are most likely going to be the best training values at every single bracket just because the Ultimate Legends are in such an abundance, such a surplus. They're easily the easiest to obtain right now. So these are 120K. 94 is quick sell for, is it 9K? 9K. They quick sell for about 9K. So these 9K for 120, let's see, if you times that by three, just about, you get about 27,000. Yeah. These aren't nearly as good as the 96, 97, 98, 97s because if you time this by three, this will cost you 360K and that'll only get you 27,000 training. The 97s are 280 to 295 and those get you 26,000. So the extra thousand is not worth almost 100K. So still recommend the 97s being the best one with the 98s being the best cost per training where in a sense, like I said, that if you need that exact amount, you don't want to spend 600k, you just want to spend the 1440 one shot or whatever and be done. And now if you keep going down, okay, I always, I don't know if you guys watch enough of my videos, I do that literally every single video. I don't know why I keep forgetting there's nothing there. Okay, these are going to be, the 90s are about 2k, so that's 40k per piece. So if you times 40 into 300, you get 6, so you would need to buy 6 of these, 6 times 2k, right? 30k, okay, 300k. Divided by 40, it's going to be about, actually, 7. So you need 7 of these. So 7 of these times 2K is going to be 14K. Yeah, no, this is not even close. It's a good idea for training. Still, 
You want to stick, just to just get a quick reminder of this, you want to stick to these if you really need them, but would not recommend. But for the most part, this one right here and the 98. So those are by far, hands down, the best training values in this game. Now, one last thing is, so if you get that 97, just to put this into terms, people don't understand how training properly works. That's a common issue. If you put this into terms, this Aaron Donald is going to cost you about right now 600 700k so a four uh 36 000 training is 450k right well, let's do it by this so 26 000 training is 290k this thing costs 52 000 training just about for the full for first power up his limited time card so the the, the 99 overall part the uh the, the power pass it technically so that's going to cost two of those so it's going to be about 580k let's say just about 580k so to this car, this 90, to get this 99 over Aaron Donald is only 580k. It's not expensive. The Pat Mahomes, same thing, 580k for a Pat Mahomes. Just his final piece, obviously. To power pass, um, what else? Can't use that one. Okay, these guys are probably less relevant to you. But like right now, if you wanted to Randy Moss, this Randy Moss only costs 26,000. So right now, Randy Moss limited time card powered up only costs you 280k. Michael Vick, very probably even a little cheap. Michael Vick wasn't too bad either. So. That's just let me. I'm just giving you guys a reference point for how much training is valued if you need that card. So for the limited time MVP 98s, it's just gonna be 580k. For the slightly lower ones like Darius Leonard, Chris Long, and them, it's only gonna be like about about 450k, 400k, three 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 to 450k, somewhere between there, depending on what price you get this training for. Obviously, that varies heavily. That's about it for this video, guys. If you haven't yet, please go down below and drop the sub. Make sure it's comment and like. It helps me tremendously. You know, don't ask a lot. Really don't. Just comment down below. Show some interaction. Get the, you know, get the comments going. And then um, make sure to drop the sub. It helps a lot. You know, we're at, we're at 266 subs right now. We're, I'm hoping to hit 300 by this weekend. If we do, I'd be really, really happy about that. We're growing really fast for a small channel. And hopefully you guys can be a part of that, you know. If you guys all drop... If everyone that watches this just drops a quick little one one sub, it may not seem like a lot to you, but if all my hundreds of viewers drop a sub, I can go from 200 to 800 subs in literally one day. It, it's that you guys make such a big difference in the factor of me growing. It does not has not, not, not have much to do. It doesn't have as much to do with me as some people might think. So I, I put all I can do is put it out there, and then you guys have to interact and do your part. So if you guys have been enjoying it, not forcing anyone, just asking if you drop the sub. I mean, if you could just all drop the one sub, literally it could change my whole path as a YouTuber in one day, but it's enough of that. So thank you guys for watching. I'm out. I'll see you guys later.